Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender. Let's talk about bevels and issues with bevels. So I got those three identical looking cubes, um, but they're not identical, okay? And I'm going to try to run bevels over it and let's see what happens. So let's see the first one, right? I'm just going to use uh, hard ops for this, but you can go to uh, modifiers and add bevel. Um, but it's just faster with add-ons, so I'm just going to use bevel and, you know, make a bigger one so you can see. And everything looks fine, right? There's a shadow, by the way, it's not artifact, so this one. It's a shadow cast by cube. Anyway, everything is fine, all the shadows are perfect, you know, all the shading, no, no issues, right? Now let's grab this cube. And now you see that we have a problem. And no matter what you do, the bevel will not run through it. And, you know, everything seems connected, um, everything seems fine, but the bevel doesn't work. And the reason for it in this case is flip normals. And to check normals, you can always go to uh, your option here and face orientation. And by default, um, the correct um, face orientation would be in blue. Now you can switch it on if you want. You can go to preferences and under themes and viewport, you simply go to face orientation here, okay? What I did is I just moved the slider, alpha slider to zero, made it transparent, okay? So all I see is the uh, flipped faces. All you need to do is go to face mode, right? And simply Alt N and flip the faces and everything should be peachy. Now this QPC bevel is also messed up, right? It doesn't work. And you can see that there is something wrong with the top face. And if you go to vert mode and move these verts, you can see that this face, this edge actually is ripped off. So what you need to do is uh, make it manifold. What I would do is simply use machine tools, press 3 and I'm done. It's a free add-on and just download it. Um, you could do it in vanilla blender, but um, the way to do it in vanilla blender would be to install uh, an add-on which is called 3D Print Toolbox. I don't even know if I have it installed. Yeah, I do. And go to Cleanup and make Manifold. It's going to do the same thing, so watch. Right? But it's easier to do it with machine tools because all you need to do is go to Edit Mode and press 3 and you're done. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Let's grab this cube. Let's run the edge through this one like a loop. And let's move this edge a little bit lower. So, GZ, just, you know, to create like a gentle angle. And I'm going to add a bevel, okay? See, this bevel wasn't caught by the... Uh, the edge wasn't caught by the bevel. But the reason why it's happening is because the bevel is set to angle. And the angle is set to uh, 30 degrees. Now, so that, you know, this, this slope is much gentler than 30 degrees, probably like 5 or something. Now the way to tackle it, the best way to tackle it would be to change uh, the mode from angle to weight and you can do it in here, switch to weight. Now you see that um, if you do that on the bevel, right, switch from angle to weight, the bevel disappears because none of the edges has weight added to them and you can do it by right clicking and adding B weight and then you you know move your mouse. The problem is that you know you need to select all the edges that you want to add B weight to. It takes more, you know, a lot of time. With hard ops all you need to do is make sure that B weight is set with your sharp option. And all you do is simply uh, click on sharpen and it will sharpen and add B weight to all the edges above 30 degrees. This one was not included because the angle is too shallow but you can do it manually and then you have bevel across all the edges. That's all for this vid guys. A few quick tips on bevels and how to tackle issues with them. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did and I'll talk to you in the next one.